when you tilt a camera up from horizontal, you get an optical distortion known as converging verticals. Noticeable in particular when you are taking pictures of buildings where uprights will appear to lean inwards as if the building is about to fall over. Conversely, if you tilt the camera down, you get the opposite effect, and that is called diverging verticals. Uh, particularly noticeable if you are standing on top of a tall building and looking down. This is something the eye and brain doesn't appear to see, or at least it doesn't notice it. But with a camera, then we have to choose our location very carefully. This is something we had to do, particularly in the days of film, when we didn't have sophisticated software to make the necessary uh, corrections. Uh, one of the ways around this was to use a medium telephoto lens, and if you could, get further away from the subject when the angle of tilt would hardly be noticeable. But of course, these days, we can be a little bit more flexible and use software like Lightroom and Photoshop to make the necessary corrections to our images. And that is what this program is going to now demonstrate. This shot of Lemster Priory is a classic case of having to contend with converging verticals because there is a wall behind me, so I cannot step back any further. Therefore, to keep verticals upright in camera, you need to be either at a higher elevation, so go and get some steps if you like, or use a perspective control lens. Incidentally, I will deal with camera software later. In the absence of both techniques, make sure that the amount of convergence is symmetrical and that there is plenty of space around the subject that can be cropped away. I am making corrections in the subscription versions of Lightroom and Photoshop. Now this image is in Lightroom and it has already been adjusted from the raw image. And as a matter of interest, changes are shown in the adjacent panels, but they will have little bearing on what will now follow. In the right panel, scroll down to Transform, where several presets are now shown. Not all give a magic answer, incidentally. I will apply Vertical to create an image that now requires a crop. Clicking Constrain Crop removes unwanted parts of the image, which still require correction with the Y offset slider. However, it is too tight for the 16 to 9 ratio that is the preferred YouTube format. This is something I have to keep in mind on the shoot itself. In addition to format issues, not everything falls into place at the click of a mouse button. This shot of St. Albans Abbey Cathedral cannot be corrected in vertical preset, the same way as the last one. Neither does it work in auto, full, which makes a complete mess of it, or level. Therefore, it is necessary to use guided and the vertical slider to make changes manually where a default grid appears to assist. As the vertical slider applies corrections to both sides equally, use it in conjunction with rotate if your convergence during photography was not symmetrical. This time the format is suitable for YouTube 16 to 9 ratio and incidentally, I removed the sun worshippers on the right with a bit of Photoshop cloning. Converging verticals do work if the ground is not shown. This is demonstrated at Peterborough Cathedral, 
where the convergence draws the eye up to the ceiling. Correction can also be done in Photoshop, but the procedure is quite different. After opening image in Photoshop Editor, create layer from background. You don't have to give it a name, just click OK. Layer is now separate from background. Click Edit, Transform, Distort, and then Pull Marquees to straighten image. I find this more flexible than Lightroom. Click the tick box to confirm. Click Layer. Flatten image making it a background again. Click Crop Tool, which I have preset to 16 to 9 ratio for YouTube, and I removed the security camera. Click Tick Box. Transformation is now complete. OMD cameras have internal software that corrects converging and diverging verticals in camera. I tried it at Hosgaard's Parade in central London, and whilst it works, the corrected file is only saved back to a JPEG. As you may gather, I prefer the first two options, Lightroom or Photoshop. Both do the job, and you can change your mind later. Generally, if the ground is in view, I correct converging verticals. If not, then converging verticals can be put to good effect, especially with a wide angle lens, which will exaggerate them, provided, of course, the lines of convergence lead to something interesting. <laughs>